Good morning guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today I'm going to go to have breakfast over at the Chin Chin, which is right over here, right? Now Chin Chin is an Asian restaurant, but they advertise American style breakfast. Nuts! Can you trust them? Yes you can, because they have a lot of Americans working there as well. So, one funny fact, right? About seven months ago, I ate there and I made a video about it. And in that video, I said the hello man. I said that the sign in front should be more prominent to say that they offer cook to order stuff, which they do, but the sign from seven months ago was not very prominent, right? So people walk by, they think that $28.99 is just for the buffet, and then they leave, they think, eh, it's not worth it. But that cook to order stuff is what makes it worth it. So I said in the video, they really need to put that sign that is like uh, says it prominently and now it's here the sign that says it prominently look at that guys see a big ass sign and look what it says right there with me to order eggs benedict and build your own omelets huh I wonder if it's because of me I would like to think so haha <laughs> I'm sure it's not but it's a coincidence they do have it nice and printed on the sign. So, let's go in and have breakfast. Alright guys, I am seated at the breakfast buffet. Now, over here, they got a very nice piece of paper for you. And uh, it's just uh, designs on the back. So you can order eggs, Benedict, specialty omelets. Hey, good morning. Hey, Hi. Spencer. My name is Spencer. Are we taking care of Hi, Spence. Nice to meet you, Spencer. Did you All right. Start off with any coffee or tea? Is the coffee included? Coffee and tea are included. Ooh, I coffee see and tea is included. Hot tea? Uh, hot coffee? Yeah. Go right ahead. Terrific. Are juices included or no? Juices are not included, but we do have orange, apple, and cranberry. If you want to enjoy uh, that. I have a ice tap water. Absolutely. Oh, terrific. Thank you. All right. Not the juices. I love it when buffet have juices. But anyway. Oh yes, that's right here. Coffee and tea included. Juices five fifty. Fountain sodas five bucks. Milk is three fifty. My goodness guys, I hope they mean a tall glass of milk, not like milk for your coffee. And of course they got alcohol offerings, thank you. Alright. You know the wig staff here is terrific. Last time I was here, I had uh, Pedro, I believe his name was. Forgive, forgive me if I misremember it, but he was a super good waiter. And today we got Spencer, another super good waiter. I think they pay a lot here. I'm gonna apply for a job as a waiter. But of course, with my attitude, they're gonna fire me real quick. I'm gonna be like, what do you want, coffee? Get out of here. You know, they're gonna be like, Danny, Danny Medic, come here. I gotta talk to you in the back. I'm so sorry, sir. I can't help him from New York. And then this is the New York, New York. Oh, wow. Maybe they should have uh, one of those uh, Dick's Last Resort style restaurants here where they give you attitude, a New York attitude. Yeah, you know, you're waiting in line to get into the buffet. Hey, you, you're next, come on, let's go, you know? They're gonna be like, how dare you speak to me like that? I'm a paying customer, sir. Sir. All right. Let's order some of this stuff, and then we'll check out the buffet line. All right, they got this huge thing in the frame. Ah, oh, look at this, guys. It's like 13 pounds. I know because you know, like bowling balls are like around 16 pounds, and this is just a little bit shy of that. Ah, I got coffee mate, ketchup, hot sauce, and ah. Oh. It's not our Hi. first time dining with us, but um, still same as the last time. Benedict's and omelets are included ah. in the buffet. And for those you order through me, I'll bring them right to you. Okay, oh, sir? terrific. Great. So I'll take your eggs, Benedict. Perfect. With, um, let's see, I get to choose either bacon, ham, or avocado. Absolutely. If you like avocado, we can also do a bacon and avocado. Avocado, or avocado is the one that I have it every day. It's really, really good. Oh, yeah. you, you have it every day? day? It's really good. It's that good. 
Are you eating that because they give it to you for free? Because you work here? That's why you're like, you know, I'll take it. Uh, every day you eat it. You know? Uh, it's good and uh, kind of like it's an employee meal. Yes, you're, you're right. Oh. Yeah. oh, okay. But it's really good. Oh, okay, so, oh, so um, I guess it comes with two things. Yes, but yeah. you can also do one if you want to do just one portion. Okay, so I'll, I'll do one with, like he said. Absolutely. And the other one with the ham. With ham? Perfect. Yeah. And can I have half a meat lover's omelette? Like just a, a small one? A smaller one? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Terrific. All right. Perfect. I'll get those two started. All right. Thank you, guys. This right. is my business card. Oh, the thank GM you. Of the restaurant, if you have any questions. Oh, Jen. Yeah. How oh, nice. Can. The GM came by. Want to say hi to the video? Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why? Some people run fast. Oh, uh, I don't know that you anyway, are uh, here, 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 here you go. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Please watch my video. Absolutely. Yeah, I did watch it last night. Oh, terrific. Do you subscribe? Do you subscribe? No. Don't forget to subscribe. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Very important. And like, right? <laughs> yeah, and like. Okay. Okay. We'll do. Thank you. Thank you. All right. How oh, nice. The manager, who is camera shy, you know, like, introduce himself. It's uh, Jen Young, Y-U-N-G, Mr. Young. Maybe he'll look young for the rest of his life. What does it look like now? You'll never know, because he's camera shy. Let's put the card in my pocket. This is such a circular spoon. Hmm. It's like a miniature one of what I had uh, last time I was here. I had a big one that looks like you went to the eye doctor. But this is a very small one. For infants going to the eye doctor. You know, what's the charge say? Wang. When, you know, because they can't speak, they're infants. Uh, anyway, moving on. Too corny, guys. I'm so sorry. Put it in the comments below how corny I am. I'll try to fix that. It is, you know, a, a flaw. Okay. You should see, like, when I go on dates, you know, halfway through, the woman, like, the eyes are rolling all the way into the back of their head. And, and not for the good reason. It's just like, because, you know, yak, 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 yak. <laughs> Okay, so today's video, I'm going to eat like a rich person. Oh, let me hide the tap water. I'm going to eat like a rich person. Just a little bit of food, not a lot, even though I'm paying the same price regardless. I'm actually not so hungry. So let's go check out the buffet line. Sorry. Oh yeah, sure, thanks. Sorry for the intrusion. That's okay. These cups are not made for this type of holding. You just... No, it's, it's meant to be like the working man's cup. Elbows on the table. You know, a whole fist holding the cup. Making sure no one else is going to steal your coffee. And then you sip it. With a grimace. Alright guys, if you have seen my video from 7 months ago, you'll notice that the buffet has gotten smaller. But the manager said the offerings had changed. So, over here we got some bananas, breakfast cereal. Over here is some toppings, including, oh wow, Philadelphia strawberry. That is fancy, guys. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this. All right. Got over here some bread offerings and cookies and stuff like that. Different cereals. But if you recall in the menu, it says milk was $3.50. I wonder if you can get milk with the cereal for free. We don't know this, guys. Now over here we got clean plates. We got uh, a specialty tart that is bacon, cheddar and chives, hash browns. We got scrambled eggs 
and what looks like fried rice. Here are some pancakes. I'm glad they're not making too many of them. It may be fluffy. Now over here we have waffles and chicken tenders. Hash browns, bacon and sausage. Ha! They got siu mai. That's terrific. Siu mai costs a lot of money, guys. We got some dumplings over here that have been fried. And over here we got uh, what looks like country fried steak. And here be some biscuits. Let's see what's in here. Country gravy. And next to that, we have oatmeal, brown sugar. And now over here, we have sushi that's actually very nicely, nicely made looking. It doesn't look like just buffet sushi. It's looking pretty good, guys. Now we got fresh fruit. Uh, some pastries. Hey, a toaster for your toasting pleasure and some uh, back of house stuff over here so all right not bad looking let's get something to eat so guys just a little side thing they trim their own fish here and this is the yellow tail all right here we go whoa my goodness that was scary. Okay, here we go. Well, they certainly take really good care of trimming their stuff. You know, it's important to keep it trim. All right, back to the buffet. All right, guys, that was interesting. Man trimming his fish. Terrific. All right, so, uh, you know me. I got to try all this Asian stuff, which is the fried rice, the siu mai, some sushi. Uh, one piece of this, whatever this is, uh, huge tart. Dumpling. We got the eggs benedicts. That's one ham and one avocado. All right, guys. And that omelet. Cool. And here's a... Uh, ramekin of soy sauce now i didn't see any wasabi next to the sushi but you know i guess i'll ask spencer for it and make sure it is no additional charge now normally i would try to get some chopsticks but these are chopsticks all right so first the seal might Pretty darn good siu mai guys, pretty darn good. Nice and moist. Give it an eight, it is good. All right, guys. I'm gonna try this piece of uh, sushi, which looks like uh, imitation crab. There we go, dip in some of the soy sauce. It 
It is good. Whatever that was, 8.5. The rice is nicely seasoned. It's almost like a made-to-order uh, sushi item. Not at all like a buffet. Wow, now whatever this is. That might have been spicy tuna. Eight. Pretty darn good, guys. Pretty darn good. Now this big one here, which has a bit of cream cheese in it, but a huge chunk of tuna. I'm gonna poke out the cream cheese. There we go. Got it. Put the tuna back in. Tuna sushi. Good. It's good, guys. If the buffet sushi is at this level, I think the regular sushi, like, you know, that's not in the buffet, should be terrific. All right, so now we got dumpling. All right, the outer shell is a little bit, a little bit too hard for my liking. So, I'll give it a six, you know. Like if I had some soup to throw into, it would have been fine. All right. Now, a uh, cork from the Magnum champagne bottle. Oh, that's weird, guys. I don't know what to think of that one. Like, it's perfectly fine, but it's packed full of ingredients that I'm not familiar with in the flavor profile that I'm not familiar with. Interesting. I do not know what to say about this one. All right, now we can move on to the fried rice upon which I will use this little spoon. All right, thanks. Do you guys also wasabi? Absolutely. Oh, oh thanks. Mm. The fried rice is actually really good. It's magnificent, guys. It does got that wonderful fried rice flavor from back when I was a kid. That, like, people would get married and stuff, and they'll throw this huge banquet with circular tables, each one that fits like 10, 12 people, right? And then you sit there, and the waiter will bring out course after course of Chinese foods, and then at the end, it'll be fried rice and uh, some sort of noodles. This tastes just like that kind of fried rice. It's a light fried rice flavor. It's really good. And the... Uh, thank you so much. Ooh! Thank you. My own personal soy sauce. I wonder if it's Kikomen. Alright, so now, what was I saying? 
Yes, the rice quality also is uh, also very good. All right, now this gets a ten for what it is, right? The best buffet fried rice I have had in a very long time. Best buffet fried rice. I mean, like this is. This will beat out a lot of made-to-order fried rices out there. Amazing. Gosh darn, it's amazing. Even the, the peas in it are so good. Mm. All right. I'll be getting more of that after I'm done sampling this stuff. So good. Okay, so now we have Eggs Benedict. Take this. Wipe off the chopstick end of the utensils, and now we got knife and fork. Now I'm gonna try first the hollandaise sauce. Very important, guys. If it's made correctly, ooh, nice sauce, guys. Nicely emulsified. Mmm, really good, really good. 8.5 for the sauce. All right, now let's have a piece of this. You know, one day I'm gonna come back for their sushi, since they uh, trim it themselves and, and 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 it's so good from the buffet line. Oh my heavens! All right, it's pretty good, guys. Eight point five, and they made it so fancy. They even put a little strand of whatever this is in there to make it all fancy, like like Martha Stewart came and uh, placed it on here herself. Cheers. Decent quality, made to order, eggs Benedict. Guys, like I've been on the, on the cruise ship, right? I believe it was the MSC Meraviglia, and they had eggs Benedict at their breakfast buffet. But it's like pre-made and sits there, and you're just like, no, no, thank you. You know, made to order is the way to go. Perfectly good. Eight. All right. Now let's try. Now the omelet also have hollandaise sauce. Strange, huh? Let's give the omelet a try. Meat lover. Hmm. I'll be getting more of these in a minute. Well, it's an omelet. You know, I mean, like the ingredients are fresh, it's well prepared. You know, perfectly fine. You know, eight for the omelet. But I'm telling you, the omelet and the Benedict, it is good. But it's not how as good as that fried rice as was good and and the sushi and the siu mai. 
Now, could it be maybe an Asian bias? Like, I'll be like, oh, it's Asian food. You know, I like it more anyway, rather than, uh, you know, American style food. It could be, but, you know, it's subjective. Right? Everything here is perfectly good so far. Except for that thing that I've never had before the, uh, the cork from the uh, Magnum champagne bottle. Never had that. That, that was weird. Alright, let's go get some more food. All right, and we're back. And now I have this over here. Pancake, one piece of bacon, and some corned beef hash. I also pumped a little bit of syrup into the pancake. All right. Let's give the pancake a try. You know, I don't remember exactly, but I kind of remember that last time I was here, they laid out a whole bunch of pancakes and uh, now the lady puts them out a little at a time I believe so check out my previous video if you haven't already I don't remember guys it's been a while all right so right now it's feeling fluffy it's feeling light Both sides are evenly cooked. Guys, wait, before I say it, let me finish this piece. Guys, this is a proper pancake. The batter isn't like too thick or anything. It's not dried out, you know. This is the, the best buffet pancake I have ever had. This gets a 10. It may even have a hint of chocolate in it. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's my imagination, but I'm telling you. I've been to places where I ordered pancakes made to order. And dude, it'll be like more cooked on one side, less cooked on the other side. It'll be really thick and heavy, you know, all that kind of, you know, all that kind of nonsense. You know, this beats all those. And, and no buffet I've been to, you know, have a pancake of this quality. None, guys, none. I mean, if you watch my videos, you know, you'll see, you know, that other time, I, I forgot which video, but I got a pancake so stiff, I just slapping it in my hand. You know, it was like boing, 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 boing. You know, this, like a pillow, a pillow fight with teenage girls giggling and screaming while you're trying to watch your sports. I'm talking about your typical American dad, not me. I don't watch sports. I also don't have any kids. Not that I know about. Marvi Povich may uh, be sending me a letter. I don't know. All right, now let's try the corned beef hash. A very typical corned beef hash, except it is a little less greasy than usual. Perfectly fine. Eight. Now, Uh oh, I think we found the thing that's gonna be a, a little less today. The bacon. This bacon is looking a little dry. It's looking a little tough. Uh oh guys, uh oh. No! It's perfectly fine. It just looks that way. Need another napkin.
ate for the, you know, fool you bacon. It fooled me. Wow, I wonder how they do it to make it look like this, but yet it's fine. Next plate. Oh wait guys, it is now time for dessert. Now you may be thinking, Danny the Medic, is that all you'll be eating? Well I did tell you, I'll be eating like a rich person. Just kidding guys, no, I'll be eating more. Afterwards, this is just for the video. Alright, so I have here a plate of random fruit, a cupcake, and a piece of cake. What looks like cake. It might be a brownie, who knows these things. Alright, let's give it a try. Yeah, it could be a brownie, I don't know. I think it is a brownie. Brownie, guys. This thing is heavy. I'm not clumsy. It's, it's uniquely heavy. It's not a brownie. Whatever the heck it is, it's good. Very chocolatey, very smooth. A lot of flavor. It might be a brownie. Guys, is this a brownie? Put it in the comments below. This kind of tastes like a strawberry cheesecake. That flavor. Interesting. Eight. Alright guys, now time for the fruit. Now, fruit is not something that they make here. Obviously, nature made it. But we'll see how it is. Great. Seedless grape. Mmm. What a good quality grape. Blueberry. The second one was less sour. Third one is in between the first and the second. And the last one was kind of sweet. Kind of sweet. Kind of sweet. A little more sour. Ah, random stuff. Right, pineapple. Mm. Ooh, nice and white, guys. Alright, so I'm gonna call this the end of the video. Thank you for watching New Vegas video every Friday. I just like can't really get more than sushi and fried rice. Oh my god guys. Oh my god.